welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle and today with an amazing puzzle called A Maze, made and designed by Abhishek Ruika from India. And if you're now like, oh, this sounds familiar to me, yes, you are right, because I have reviewed a puzzle of him earlier this year. It was this puzzle here called the Mimosa, after the Mimosa plan, where the target was to free this wooden disc gear from the inside. Pretty clever and interesting puzzle. I'm gonna post your link up here just in case you would like to see it. Definitely worth it, of course. But today is about the second puzzle, a maze puzzle called A Maze, probably after Abhishek Maze or Amazing, I don't know. And it's a multi-layer maze puzzle with like, if I see it right, one, two, three, four, five layers in between here and probably like three layers that include a maze. You can drop between these layers, up and down, of course. I have no idea if there are one ways included. Therefore, I'm not sure about how difficult this puzzle is. If there are one ways included, I expect it to be very difficult. If not, then it probably requires some concentration to go through this maze and do not mix up the directions and go back. I personally like this look very, very much. It's such a straightforward and clean design puzzle. This is just amazing. <laughs> I think up to this point, everyone should understand why I use the word amazing so many times in this video. And I have also something in addition to you, and this is also super cool. Another gadget or not really a gadget. It's more like something to, to display and to just look at. And this is this item here. It's actually a lineup of the planets in our solar system made out of beautiful gemstones and this looks from my point of view i personally i love everything about the universe like i could watch the youtube videos about the universe the solar system and stuff like this for hours on youtube and I actually do so <laughs> and therefore this is something i instantly fell in love with each of these gemstones spheres obviously represents a planet and over here also with some information about the planets each of these stones representing. There are also detailed informations about the stones, each single type of stones on the website. Unfortunately, there is no flyer or anything inside here that's explaining what kind of stone or what type of stone each one is. But if we look at these and how well these are made, this is just so satisfying. So this is Mercury or Mercury, I'm not sure how it is in English. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Oh, now on this one I need to be careful, as, as, <laughs> especially if I'm not a native speaker. It's called Uranus. <laughs> or in Germany we say Ur Uranus, okay? In English you say Uranus or Uranus, right? So, and, <laughs> and then we got Neptune and, and this is pretty cool. They also included this little guy here, Pluto. And you know what? I'm so satisfied and I'm so amazed that I'm gonna just record a short B-roll clip for you. And afterwards, I will also announce something about a small giveaway today. So enjoy. so enjoyable so beautiful i hope you like this b-roll and as i said there is something special today because i also got a prototype of this puzzle this one here as you can see looks pretty much the same i decided i'm gonna use this second copy i have over here 
to do a small giveaway and I thought it would be cool to receive some motivating feedback from you guys. Everyone can participate in this giveaway. You just need to go to the comment section and post a comment below this video. It can be something nice, something cool, some ideas you would like to share with me, something funny, something crazy, whatever you have in your mind. And out of all these comments, I will pick one comment I like the most and this one gonna be the winner. You got time until next Thursday. So that's it about the puzzle, about the gadget, the super cool looking gadget, about the giveaway. And after spoiler break, you can join my first attempt trying to solve this amazing looking puzzle. Okay, and maze puzzle. I haven't had a maze puzzle since a long time. This puzzle, by the way, cannot be opened, so it's riveted together. There's no way to bypass or to reset it. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna enter the maze over here. I hope this is not too small, to be honest. And then I go over here and drop down. Now I am in the, in what layer I am here? I think it's, it's the last layer. I'm gonna just follow the path. I will not try if there are multiple ways. I can tell you already now, this is so satisfying to handle. Also this, this nice noise of this little ball. So, but now I'm already lost, I lost orientation. Let's see. I think I'm going back right now again. Oh, this is this is very confusing, actually. Now, where am I? No, again in the wrong direction. What am I doing wrong? Again here at the same point. It came from here. Sometimes what, what makes it a little bit tricky, maybe it's easier if you watch it, but if you move it around and um, think about how to move it next without going back randomly, um, it's, it's kind of tricky to remember where you came from actually, and I didn't expect this to be so difficult. I'm not sure how it is watching this, but maybe not the best puzzle showing it in the video, but definitely a very satisfying puzzle to execute. Now I'm here. I think I'm on the right track. And what would be interesting to know, Abhishek, you probably can answer this question. Did you know the complete surface as a path to get to the end? Or are there some areas in here which are not used for the maze? Look like they are part of the maze, but actually in fact they are just fake areas. This would be interesting. Okay, now here again. So these three lines here, this one, this one and that one, they are connected in a very complex way going up and down and left and right. Pretty cool. Here we go. Now I'm here. This would be so frustrating if I'm moving backwards. But I'm still not sure if I do. <laughs> I'm now here again. Wasn't I here before in the beginning? Maybe it only seems like I'm doing. I'll just follow the path now. No. No, <laughs> I came back to the beginning. Ah! All for nothing, I need to restart again. Now we're gonna be more silent and more concentrated this time. This is definitely not an easy job here. Here we go. I'm at the end. Puzzle solved. Ooh. I'm still not sure if this is just a one way or if there is a loop. I thought in the beginning that I went back to from right over here to this beginning much faster than I actually arrived there, but maybe it was also because I completely lost orientation. However, this movement, this very smooth up and down movement, you get a very good feeling for it if you play with it. And in addition, the slight clicking noise from this little ball bearing is very satisfying. Overall, a really enjoyable puzzle. From difficulty point of view, I would rate it with only a two out of a maximum of five. 
Yes, it was confusing, but if you really concentrate, you are able to find the path and remember where you came from. But overall, I think this is definitely doable without any experience in puzzling. Therefore, I will give it only a two out of a maximum of five. However, from design and satisfaction point of view, definitely a five out of five. However, if you would like to get your own copy, participate in the giveaway, post something nice, amazing, funny, exciting, interesting in the comments. Until next week, Thursday and on Friday, I will pick and announce the winner and send him my second prototype copy. So that's it for today. Leave a like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. And until next time, keep on puzzling.